girls, we previously talked about a woman's monthly cycle, but I realized that we never actually talked about the organs that are involved in the process of reproduction. Today, we'll quickly introduce you to the female reproductive tract internally as well as externally. As a woman, it is very important for us to be aware of our bodies and be able to talk about it openly to maintain a good health and hygiene. Your lady bits that are easily visible to the eye are collectively known as the vulva or genitals. A common mistake that we make is to confuse these with the vagina. Your vagina is an internal organ and we will discuss it later in this video. As you can see in this diagram, the outermost part of the vulva is labia majora or the outer lips. It is a fold of skin covered with pubic hair. Labia minora or the inner lips lie between the outer lips and the vaginal opening. They protect your vaginal opening and the urethra from dirt and bacteria. These do not have hair on them. Urethra lies above the vaginal opening and it is the hole where you urinate from. Vaginal opening is where women bleed from during their periods and where the sperm enters the body. Urethra is also present in men. It carries their urine as well as sperm, but for women, it has nothing to do with reproduction. The labia minora meet at the clitoris. It is a small nub of extremely sensitive tissue that is covered by a folded skin. It can become erect during stimulation. The next opening that we see is the anus. This is where we dispose of the solid waste from. Let's now take a look at what is going on inside the body. One of the most crucial internal organs is the vagina. It is a muscular elastic tube that extends from the vaginal opening to the cervix. On an average, the vagina is around 2 to 4 inches long and it is extremely elastic. It can easily accommodate a male penis, menstrual cups or a baby during childbirth. The vaginal opening is usually covered with a thin membrane called hymen. It is different in different bodies. Hymen may cover the opening completely or partially loosely or tightly. It can get stretched or broken due to several reasons such as sports or penetrative sex. A common myth about the hymen is that females lose their virginity once the hymen is broken. However, you only lose your virginity once you have penetrative sex. Various other activities can break or stretch the hymen. The topmost part of the vagina is known as the cervix. It is a muscular organ with a very small hole, sort of like a donut. Most women can feel it with their finger. It allows the flow of menstrual blood from the uterus to the vagina and that of semen from vagina to the uterus. It prevents the entry of harmful bacteria and various other unwanted substances from entering inside and also stops your tampon or menstrual cup from getting lost inside the body. The uterus produces vaginal secretions known as the mucus. It helps the sperm to pass through to either of the fallopian tube along which eggs travel. It is also commonly referred to a bag where new baby known as fetus resides before it is born. As you can see in the diagram, uterus is connected to the ovaries through fallopian tubes. At regular intervals, the ovaries release an ovum commonly called eggs that pass through the fallopian tube into the uterus. This is a monthly process known as ovulation. If the egg is fertilized, the woman gets pregnant. If it is not fertilized, it disintegrates and she gets her periods. Before we end, I would like to briefly mention the functionality of your pelvic floor. It is a group of muscles that stretches along the bottom of your pelvis. They help in good performance of your vagina and abdominal organs. A healthier pelvic floor would result in healthier, tighter vagina and will also help in maintaining good bowel movements as well as bladder control. Kegel exercises can help improve pelvic floor tone.